So with the also in the month of April happens to be the kickoff of first quarter quarterly earnings for 2016. It already yeah. happened. We, I thought we just <laughs> barely finished the end of uh, last quarter. And to kick us off, we have Alcoa. Yep. Um, so earnings fell. The headline number says earnings fell 92%, which always sounds yeah. bad. But was it really as bad as that actually sounds? Expectations like, were worse. So oh. they beat expectations, um, at least on always the bottom got a line. Low, low hurdle. That's to right. Jump over. Extremely low hurdle. When your hurdle is close to. Um, Almost 100% less revenue than you had, or earnings than you had the quarter before in the year prior. Um, yeah, you feel pretty good about yourself when you come in at 92% less. Um, revenue, though, did miss just slightly. Um, I think it was down 15% year over year. Um, I just need to take a moment to like scratch my head, maybe shake it a little bit because. They're about to spin off their uh, aerospace and, and automotive business. They're they're more mm-hmm. high high margin business um, in the second half of this year and Arconic is what they named it. A R C O N I C. I don't, I, don't know. Uh, I mean you would think like last year when they spun they said we're going to spin it off yeah. and they didn't have a name yet. Like you said in expectations were pretty low for yeah. the quarterly expectations were really high for the name Arconic. that they I came mean, up with Arconic. my goodness um and they might have a good reason for it but it doesn't really sound like even a name i want to invest in alcoa just sounds investable well, i mean it's been around for so long yeah it's that's been, true maybe it's just branded into my skull um but much like the coal industry, Alcoa is blaming China, turning into a consumer country, um, not spending as much on aluminum. Uh, prices are, are down like 40%, I think, from the, their most recent high. Um, so the, the company's struggling still, held back by their smelting operations mm-hmm. and their production operations. Um, that being said, the automotive and aerospace still doing very well. So when that spins off, it's going to give investors... Um, Access to the consumer on that end with Arconic and access to the production side with Alcoa still. So you're not going to be constrained to this blended model. Right. Um, so, you know, they're, they're just still talking about shedding more jobs um, ahead of the split. Um, personally, I, I do like what they're doing with aerospace and automotive. It's lighter, it's strong, and, and you see companies around the world foregoing steel. Mm. It, it, in favor of aluminum in in applications across the board. Right. 